I asked local Parish, Florida residents what they thought were the top five picks for quick eats here in Parish, Florida. You know, something you can pick up on the way home, after you've been at work all day or with the kids. And here are your top five picks. Listen in. Hi, Parish Neighbors, Catherine Newman, your local real estate agent with Allison James. And I'm asked all the time by people who are new to Parish, Florida, where are good places to pick up quick eats or to-go food? Have a good day, sir. Thanks, you too. I mean, we're all super busy with work schedules and family schedules and social obligations. So. I don't know about you, but sometimes I am not in the mood to even plan what to have for dinner, let alone have to cook it. So I asked Parish Florida residents what their top five quick eats and takeout food is, and here are their picks. Coming in at number five, Simple Mexican Grill located in the shops at Silverleaf Complex which is where the Publix Grocery Store is at Chin Road and Highway 301. Owned by two brothers from Jalisco, Mexico, Simple Mexican says they provide delicious, healthy, made-to-order Mexican food simply fast. Their menu choices are displayed on a board like, you know, any fast food restaurant, and you walk through something like a cafeteria line to tell the staff what you want on your protein or your salad. They offer some inside and outside seating, or you can call in and order for takeout. They also have a catering menu as well. I will say that the online menu prices are not updated, so you can expect to pay right at about $10 per person, and that does not include extras like guacamole, chips, queso, or a drink. They do have a kid's menu for 10 and under. So we're trying out the chicken quesadillas here at the Simple Mexican Restaurant here in Paris, Florida. Um, I just wanted to talk about how good the quality of the food is. Um, they do a nice uh, toasting of the tortilla before they make the quesadilla. Um, it's fresh cooked uh, meat and vegetables and it just tastes so good together. Um, the guacamole and the sour cream on it is just excellent. And you gotta top it off with their uh, in-house salsa. Coming in at number four, Michelangelo 301 Pizzeria and Italian Restaurant. This Quick Eats takeout spot is also located in the shops at Silverleaf at Chin Road and Highway 301. And they have a large menu offering soups and salads um, appetizers, pastas, heroes, pizza, Italian favorites like chicken, veal, seafood pastas, as well as garlic bread knots, and of course, cannoli and tiramisu. They offer inside and outside seating as well as takeout. Their prices range from about $14 to $20, depending on toppings and size. Their entrees range from $15 to $23, and you can also buy pizza by the slice. What I thought was really cool about Michelangelo's is that during the COVID shutdown, they offered free lunch to school-aged children, which seemed to be a real hit with kids and parents. Coming in at the number three spot, PJ Sandwich Shop, which is located off Highway 301 in the historic village of Parrish. Now, this little gym is a town favorite, known for the best subs in Parrish. Along with great subs, they have salads, soups, desserts, and of course, southern sweet tea. They have a few outdoor picnic benches if you want to eat there, or you can order through their sub hotline and pick it up to go. They also offer catering. PJ Subs offer a variety of breads to choose from, and they range from $6 to $10 depending on the type of sandwich and the size. 
They also have a kids menu and they offer delivery. Coming in at number two, C&K Smokehouse Barbecue. This local hotspot located just north of Fort Hamer Road on Highway 301 is beloved in Parrish. This place can often have lines out the door because their barbecue is so off the hook. Owners Carl and Kimberly Smokehouse Barbecue has been a part of this local community for over 16 years offering quote our unique blend of quality food great service and stylish atmosphere the smell of smoked meats like pork and brisket and chicken and ribs hits you from the parking lot it is so mouth-watering um, their sides are classic barbecue sides like coleslaw potato salad baked beans green beans collard greens mac and cheese, corn on the cob, and a few others. You can order a meal or just a sandwich, as well as dessert and a drink. Uh, their prices range from six to eight dollars for sandwiches, nine to thirteen dollars for a meal, and you can also order family size meals. You can call in and order to go, or you can order in person and eat inside or outside well, that's if you can find a spot available. And yes, they too have a kid's menu option. Now, before we get to the number one choice of parish residents for quick eats and takeout, please like this video, share it with somebody, and subscribe to this YouTube channel so I can continue to make videos for our local parish area. Coming in at the number one spot for quick eats and takeout. Could you give me a drum roll, please? Ferraro's Italian Grill, located at the southwest corner of Highway 301 and Erie Road. Now, this Parish, Florida restaurant is a local's favorite because they not only offer online ordering and takeout, but also sit down dining both indoors and outside. This Sicilian family owned eatery, which started in New Jersey, ended up here in our humble little town and parish residents, well, along with residents from other locations, love to meet up at Ferraro's for some tasty classic Italian dishes like baked pastas, calzones, subs, paninis, uh, seafood, chicken, veal, and of course, excellent pizzas. Ferraro's also has wine, desserts, soups, salads, appetizers, and a kid's menu. Their prices range from $4 to $15 for appetizers, $7 to $23 for pizzas with varying toppings and sizes, and $10 to $22 for entrees. I'll leave the website links for all five of these eateries in the details below, and um, you can check them out for yourself. And if you didn't get in on the first time that I asked the parish locals to give their top five choices for local places for quick eats um, or takeout, then please leave your comments below and mentioning the places uh, that you've enjoyed the most and what do you recommend. Don't forget to please like this video, share it, and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can always be alerted when new videos about Parish, Florida or real estate matters that affect Parish, Florida are uploaded weekly. I'm Katherine Newman. See you next time.